the lecture i am going to discuss all how to find all triggers belonging to table on oracle so let's see the queries so first here writing the select statement so select then after a star from so this place let's write here all previous all triggers so all triggers now if you execute this query so this will display all the triggers okay so now you can see the list of uh, all triggers so this is on the owner hr my says and xdb has the triggers and there you can get trigger types trigger event trigger owner xdb my says and hr and if you want to see the some all triggers on some particular tables so for this one you need to write here the condition where or table underscore name so here you can see there i'm logging with the hr schema and hr inside hr there is the employees okay so finding go uh, is there any triggers available inside employees table so write here table name then give the table so employees here now if you execute this query so this will display the triggers that is present inside the employees table so here you can see owner is hr trigger name this is secure employees update job history this is a type owner based and there are so many things you can see here now uh, here you can see this is i log in with the hr now somewhere you can see this is the trigger here you can see secure employee update job history so this two trigger it's a display okay now the next is here i will not dis i will not show you about the dba has the permission for the trigger so for this one let's write the query select a star from after that let's write here dba underscore trigger so or uh, when i execute to uh, or uh, this query then you can see here or uh, table or views does not exist why this happening because or uh, this hr schema or hr user does not have any permission for the dba trigger so i'm going to pay, copy and uh, here you can see this is a select a star form if i execute uh, this query then system has the permission for the dba trigger then you can see here systems this is the trigger xdb and my says mb says and all apps says or uh, this is all uh, or dba has the permission for to you can see the uh, triggers so sysman has so many triggers apex and there are so many triggers are available okay so you can only use this query inside the system or uh, system schema okay after that the next is here going to check the user trigger so select a star from so user that so writing and uh, here let's write trigger so if you are use if you are going to use the user trigger so user that means here or currently hr schema okay so hr schema whatever the or triggers are available that will display so there are two triggers okay so secure employees and update job history is so display okay so you, this is the user triggers that is display so if you want then you can or uh, use this query or two lines of query if you want then you can write here one line of query to display the trigger and uh, there are one important things so here i'm going to display all the triggers so here you can see all the triggers that is displaying so xdb mdcs and hr total of 52 triggers that is displaying 
so hr schema has to see this all triggers total 58 okay so this is how we can find the triggers belonging to tables so table is now here you can see this is a trigger name owner and this is the table owner okay and uh, there are so many things are there you can see trigger body all you can get from here so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you